SMT Nation, we back. Nation pictured on the screen was shared to me from Techman over on the X platform. Uh, he tagged me on it, showed it to me, and I just want to share it with you guys because this is pretty big. Uh, what you're seeing here on the screen is a Verizon CRAN small cell. And the way that you kind of understand how like, and what this actually does for the network, I'll, I'll do that here in this video. So from what I understand, as explained to me by Techman, is no carrier has coverage here or i think if they do it's really weak i don't know if they even have you know adequate or reliable calling or texting seems to be troubled uh the there's some nimby issues it's hard to get you know the construct of macro cells and stuff like that macro cells are huge they're very large and they just you know the eyesores you get some nimbies they're gonna fight that so small cells could be an answer as long as they're kind of cryptic and they're kind of built into the existing infrastructure so what Verizon did was they constructed this pole, what appears to be somewhere in like a parking lot or something. And the what I'll show you guys here, and this is how you identify, you know, some of this radio gear. I'm going to slide down here. You've got the radios. Well, power here is here at the bottom. They got the power box. And then you got the radios in this little cabinet here on the right, uh, right side of the pole. And, you know, there's probably, I'd say probably three radios in there. You're going to have a low band, a mid band. And then there'll be a CBRS radio. That's typically what Verizon does uh, if it does have CBRS, right? So two or three radios in that cabinet. And then at the top, you have the antennas. You see that little canister thing at the top. And then um, right below that, and this is probably the most important thing, you have C-band, N77, and integrated antennas and radios. And this is major, right? We're starting to see this more and more. Uh, this is actually in Florida. I forget the name of the city. I'll see if I can find it for you guys here. Um, but, oh, it's, so it's on a street, not in a parking lot. Um, the the C band there is, I, I think, 160 megahertz, possibly 140. Uh, this is obviously going to provide tons of capacity. It's a lot of bandwidth on air, considering all the LTE, the 5G stuff that they run, and then the N77, obviously. So uh, probably a 10 gig fiber circuit at least. Uh, Verizon does build. Uh, their their fiber project out there uh, one fiber program right so they're they're gonna have the best network here and it's gonna be without a doubt because AT&T and T-Mobile don't really have any type of small cell solutions in this area from what I understand uh, let me show you guys another picture here this is a screenshot of the connection to show you guys the bands there all right so you got your N77 you can see how strong the signal is because he's very close Super clean signal. The sign are at 37. Uh, let me see what else we see. We see the aggregation, the LTE. Uh, you see the uh, band 66 here. Here's all your LTE down here. Uh, where it says five carrier aggregation. So you probably have what I'm assuming is like your low bands at 10 megahertz, right? Uh, band 13. Probably 10 megahertz of PCS. Uh, I'm guessing 20 megahertz of band 48 CBRS and then... Uh, I don't know if it's you know, what the bandwidth is of the, the AWS, maybe 15 or 10. I have no clue. All right. So whatever that combination is, that is that. And then here is the speed test. What you guys really wanted to see an Ericsson market. Uh, typically, I think all Florida is Ericsson. 21 ping, 8 jitter, loaded ping times, 393 and 111 respectively. But you're getting over 1.2 gigabits per second uplink at 118. This is going to be the best connection in this area. So Ericsson's got the small cell C-band radio gear ready to go. Um, that's I think Ericsson is more than 50% of the Verizon RAN network. So that's good that they have that solution and they're starting to build to it. Uh, Verizon, from what I've seen here in my market, it's a Samsung market. I haven't seen those solutions yet. I'm looking for them. I'm waiting for them. I'll be sure to provide you guys with coverage when that does happen. But if you look at Vegas, if you look at L.A., uh, if you look at uh, Miami, you know, Verizon is building the CRAN with C-band enabled. And in some instance, the instances, they do CRAN with C-band and millimeter wave to bolster the network. So we're seeing huge, large wholesale upgrades and modernizations and modifications and add-ons to the network from Verizon. Guys, when I think about densification and I think about you know, the, the, the whole process of redundancy, small cell CRAN fiber, I think of Verizon. 
It's things like this that really hardens their network and makes it bulletproof. Nobody else scaling these types of solutions like Verizon. There are some markets where T-Mobile does some similar things. And there are some where AT&T does. I know AT&T's got a, they've got a, a, a CRAN strategy that's that's ongoing and, and you know, it's probably going to hit full stride here in the next six to eight months. Uh, but nobody has already, you know, caught stride like Verizon is. And as soon as Samsung markets are getting this gear, uh, it's going to scale really, really fast. Uh, and they're not stopping the modernization of rural America. They're still not done adding sites out there. I'm finding new macros all over the state of Ohio, adding new coverage and improvements. So it, they're doing a lot, right? That 18 to $19 billion is being spent and uh, we're seeing good things. So thanks to tech man for sharing this. And, you know, hopefully you guys start to see these types of upgrades in your market. Uh, tell me what you guys are seeing from Verizon, anything similar to this, or are you seeing it from any other carriers? Let me know. Drop me a comment down below. You all the voice of the people, the SMT nation, let your voice be heard.